Well, cutting red tape for business, ending the age of entitlement and fixing the budget have become three of the mantras of the Abbott government. The fourth is its controversial paid parental leave scheme, which many believe will add red tape for business, entrench the age of entitlement and make the budget position even worse. Andrew Robertson reports. It will cost more than $5 billion a year, but it's Tony Abbott's baby and he's sticking with it. I think that if you are on parental leave, you sh should be paid at your real wage. So while people on unemployment benefits can struggle to put food on the table, the government is proposing to pay new parents up to $75,000 for six months away from work. There's a, an incredibly mixed message here uh, from the Treasurer uh, and the Prime Minister in terms of uh, the age of entitlement. And it seems a mixed message on red tape, which the government has vowed to slash, but on the other hand will add to with the paid parental leave scheme. It's going to need uh, thousands, potentially thousands of bureaucrats to implement this particular scheme. Uh, it's going to need uh, businesses to report to the government uh, on, on various stages. Where the red tape burden will start is that companies with taxable income of more than $5 million will get a 1.5% discount on their tax. They'll then pay a 1.5% levy to cover the cost of the paid parental leave scheme. The Conservative Institute of Public Affairs and the business community are natural allies of the government, but it's a measure of the angst being caused by the paid parental leave scheme that they're prepared to speak out. For example, the Business Council of Australia, whose members will all be caught by the PPL, has told the ABC it wants the corporate tax rate cut, but there should be no levy for the PPL. As for red tape, it says now is not the right time to be adding costs to business, and it sees problems where enterprise bargaining agreements already include parental leave. Over the last few days, I've spoken to a number of companies to try to get the view from the coalface on the government's paid parental leave scheme. The message I've received is that they're waiting for the legislation before they can work out what impact it will have. They're also aware that when the legislation does appear, it may not get through the Senate. One company with very definite views, though, was Regional Express. It feels it's being punished for being successful, noting its much bigger rivals, Qantas and Virgin, would not be hit by the parental leave levy because both made a loss. For the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, another organisation with close ties to the coalition, the red tape won't stop with the paperwork around changed tax scales and that new levy. This is a government scheme and the burden for its administration should rest with the government. Instead, it says companies will be saddled with what it calls pay clerk burden to physically pay their staff who are on parental leave. The truth is that business, and small business in particular, is really suffering under the total weight of regulation. And the prospect of yet more red tape is uniting business lobby groups in their call for Tony Abbott to dump his signature policy.